Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we met a rhyming mermaid out on an uh, island in the sea. Well, it's not really an island, it's more like a, a sandbar, doldrum type area. She's rhyming, she's looking for her husband, who probably ran away because of all the rhyming. And then we went to some islands in the sea where we fought some monsters, got some stuff. Today, we're going to go find some more monsters and islands and stuff, and then we'll go. At the very least, start on looking for this chick's husband because, you know, she was really hot, so that helped. Uh, I forgot to buy more. I forgot to buy more uh, stuff for not getting into battles. Oh well. Oh well. Hey, there's a new enemy right there. You are Dython. Yeah, you're a bit more dangerous than the other uh, pythons there, huh? Fair enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and start getting you dying. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and sap here. And yeah, multi-target is going to be, or multi-thrust is going to be great on these guys. Even if they are, you know, just one group of enemies. Yeah, it'll be great. Uh, let's see. Let's go for... Let's try to confuse him. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh well. Ow. That kind of hurt, my dude. In that case, we're going to go ahead and multi-thrust Mr. Dython here. Yeah, look at that. 215 points of damage right there. Yeah. It's usually spread out between more enemies, but since it's on one enemy, yeah, they take all four hits, and it does pretty good, a pretty good job. I think it might be something like 75% of your normal attack per hit. I think. It does cost a bit of MP. She doesn't have the greatest MP. But it still does excellent damage, as we saw there. Hey, there we go. You actually recovered your health that time. Good for you. We're proud of you, dude. I die. There you go. Yeah, multi thrust is basically one of the best moves that she gets, like ever. It's just always going to be something that she gets uh, to use. More heal. That's a stronger version of mid heal or uh, heal, heal and mid heal. Uh, whereas mid heal recovers about a hundred health, more or less. Uh, more heal covers roughly. 160 health, and then it goes up with your magical mending. At least that's how I... I, mean, I think that's what it says, right? Mm, let's see. Rab. Yeah, at least 160. So there we go. 164 if you want to be specific. Alright, so we want to head out to that island way over there. It's got good stuff on there. And it's raining, so that's nice. The ship needed a bit of a bath. Can I just run away from you idiots? It's it's raining, dude. You're, you're it's not gonna do that much damage. Uh, let's see. Fuddle. Well, at least the idiot in the middle got fused. That's great. Uh, uh, cutting edge on uh, Otter Shambles. Let's try to get you out of the way since you're not that dangerous by yourself. But if there's a bunch of you, you're kind of a pain. Can we kill you? Oh, close. Hey, you ran away. Uh, God damn it. I'm not blocking your way. You're free to go. I, I have no problem if you leave. I really and truly don't. Go away. I'm never going to block your escape, sir. Just leave. And be gone. And don't worry about me. And... Heal. Take it easy, huh? I mean, if Metal Slime, I, I I wish when the Metal Slimes fleed, we could block their we could block their fleeing, but sadly that does not seem to be in the cards, which is kind of eh, but whatever. Oh, by the way, with Multi Thrust, I think each individual hit has a lowered critical hit chance compared to your regular attack, so it's slightly. 
think you like it makes it makes up for the multi hits for the lower chance to get the crits on it. But I mean, you'll still get plenty of crits out of it, just less than normal. There you go. You got your attack, you little bastard. You're fine. Alright, cool. And we shouldn't get into too many fights next to the island here. Some stuff that we don't really need, but it's there. Run, run, run. And this right here is, I think, the slime island. So it's all slimes all day. And there's some good stuff on here. Not just the slimes. Or, uh, well, the slimes, yes. <coughs> Let's see, local monsters. Yeah, a whole bunch of slimes here. And a couple we haven't seen yet. So. Let's go ahead and ignore. Ignore you guys. Tiny tortoise. Uh, what do you got? Sparkly spots. Uh. Some that we don't know what are going on. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, there's some good stuff over here, uh, enemy-wise, and I think later in the game you'll get more stuff that's pretty good, um, attack-wise. Let's attack you, because you might be what I want. Yeah, okay, this is great. So, okay, here we go. Slime C, they're calling for backups right here. So with these guys right here, they do something if you get enough slimes on the screen. They become a, they become an emulgated, emulgated, emulgated king slime. Uh, there's king slimes by themselves, but with these guys, you get the, you get the entry of emulgated or emulgated as they call it, king slime. Basically, a, a king slime made out of a bunch of little king, uh, little slime, basically. So I think, yeah, I think they are slightly different from the regular King Slimes. Goodbye, sir. Oh, mother, that actually did plenty of damage. Well, that's fine. Though. You're not going to survive much longer. So let's go ahead and see how crackle does on you. You're mostly water since you're slime, so I yeah, still did pretty good though. I am apparently out of a MP. Yes, great. I have magic water. Let's use that on ourselves here. Here's a little something. Thanks. Appreciate that, Savando. Uh, you need to just kill. No. Okay, that I think that makes it so you can't do any uh, critical hits on it, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was critical hits. It might be... It might just be, like, abilities or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually not entirely sure what Snub does. Let me see here. Yeah, it might be abilities or spells just in general. Uh, okay, just target the little pipsqueak, you little bastard. Come on, guy. Why you gotta be rude, guy? What did they? What did he ever or she ever do to you? I don't think we have any more Yggdrasil leaves from you, at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch in Eric for Jade real fast. I got your back. Okay, your snub effect is gone. Thanks. Thanks. All right, and let's go ahead and Yggdrasil. Veronica there. Here. Thanks. Yeah, and just keep killing you. Yeah, I forgot this guy was actually posing a little bit of a challenge at the level that we're at to uh, be fighting him, pretty much. Uh, let's see. Let's try to poison you. No luck. You're pepped up. That's not the best thing. Okay. That's fine. That's better than what you were doing earlier, so... I'm okay with that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and another hustle dance here. Stop healing. Oh, you are you're out of MP. Nice. Nice. Oh, you're not out of MP for that. You're out of you're out of MP for other stuff. You're not of you're not out of MP for snub. Yeah, I'm not actually sure if it's just spell immunity or if it's uh, ability immunity too. No, it looks like it's just spell stuff. Goddamn! Go away, dude. Let's see, another hustle dance here. We're running out of MP. Yeah, there's no place to heal around here either. Yeah, it's kind of irritating. Oh well. We'll survive. There you go, finally. Jeez, you put up a fucking fight, dude. Alright, now if we go to local monsters. No, I thought I was, I thought I was supposed to say like the emu. The emulgated thing. Hang on, let me check here. No, it looks like it's just the uh, the little the little slimes you have to kill uh, in order to get their emulgated version. So we'll get that eventually. But for now, uh, let's see. I don't think we have much in the way of uh, MP stuff here, which is a bit of a shame. But whatever. Devon, will give you some stuff right there. Who else has... You have some magic water. Let's use that on... Jade, so we're going to want that right there. Okay, cool. There's the fight bulbs, I think. Or fright bulbs. Yeah, nothing I care about there. Let's see. I'm going to ignore you guys for a little bit. Cause there's, other, there's other people we can attack that would give us better stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Slime Knights, if we care about them, but I'm not really worried about them. And if you haven't got the rare Slime Knights... Uh, they also have a chance to show up there, too, so... There's that if you need it. And if you don't, well, good for you. I didn't mean to run into you, but okay, I'll take it. Now, if I can just kill you guys before you guys do anything... Let me attack. You guys aren't that fast. Thanks. Okay, uh... Let's see, 113 versus 99, so Steel Broadsword, and... I don't have any. Oh, not not, not broadsword. Uh, soaring steel. Once soaring steel and cruiser ring. Probably won't do that much damage to him, but you know I'll give it a shot. I need to kill you guys before you turn into your your slime masters. Fuddle, can I confuse you guys? Okay, you're all confused except for like two of you. Chapter. Yeah, these guys have more health than regular slimes, in case you haven't figured it out. So they're more dangerous, that's for sure. Okay, good. We might be able to... Yeah, we might be able to finish them off here. Let's try Crackle. Cool. There we go. And that gets uh, em the emulgated slimes, or whatever you want to call them. So, Wendo, you got a level, which means you're healed up. Nice. Herbs, that's great, but not quite quite what I need. Yeah, so now if we go here, local monsters. Yeah, slime, emulgamit, emulgated, or whatever. There we go. Groups of slimes who, aware of how exposed they are alone, gather together to create something altogether more monarch, monarchical. Monarchical, I don't know. I can read it. I know what it means. I can't pronounce it. That's good enough for me. I know. I'm trying to remember what the very last enemy here is. I, oh no, it is the last enemy. Never mind then. Okay, cool. I know what the final enemy is, and it's a matter of luck to get it to show up. So, good luck. But if it does show up, you'll be set. Uh, speaking of which, line up. Uh, you, you, good. Where is okay? Sparkly spot down in the water over there. Neat. Yeah, we actually we actually want to fight a king slime or two on their own without the uh, the emulgated version. Silver, 
silver. Yeah, they're just not going to give us the platinum ore until we get to slightly later. Yeah, that's a shame. I don't care about you, idiots. Treasure chest in there we can't do anything with. I guess there's no treasure out here just in the open. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, so with any enemy... Oh, there's right there. With any enemy on the island here, there's a small chance of a metal slime appearing. Uh, with the slime kings, there's a small chance of liquid metal slimes appearing. And this is the first chance you have to get them without them actually... Uh, without them being called in by, like, you know, electrolyte or finding them somewhere else in the world. So this is, like, the earliest you could actually encounter a liquid metal slime. It's a rare chance for them to show up with the king slimes, but they can show up with the king slimes. So it'd be nice if they did, but uh, that kind of hurt. Stop targeting my little bastard. <sighs> Rab, I'm going to put you in there for a minute so we can revive the midget. I need to get you to die. Out killing my party member there. That kind of hurt. Wow. Yeah, the King Slime, they don't joke around, so we want to watch out for these idiots. Rab, okay, I was about to say, you going to get your turn anytime today? No? Uh, yeah, we need to zing. Okay, I'm not gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste time waiting for it to get back up here, because that's not something I'm caring about here at the moment. If if Zing doesn't want to work and revive my party, member, that's fine. I'm just gonna not bother with it. I was really hoping one of you guys would get a level there. You did not. That makes me sad. Uh, let's see, I want to get Serena, another magic water on. Actually, how close are you to a level? 6,000, yeah, you're not even close. Yeah, no one's even close. So we'd actually have to we'd actually have to get that um, that liquid metal slime in order to actually get the level there. So I'm gonna go for one more king slime here. And if we get the liquid metal slime, great. If we don't, well, we tried. Yeah, he's not here. Damn. Uh, let's see. Flee? Flee? No. Watch out! Flee? God damn it, game. Oh, now I'm angry. Yeah, you're angry now. Let me fucking run away, you. Oh, oh. <sighs> Luckily, when you wipe like that, it lets you pull in your backup party members. But I'm trying to fucking get out of the goddamn fight because I don't feel like fighting this asshole. There you go. Fucking hey, goddamn. Jeez, they take you. They, they make you work to get out of here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna actually find the um, the metal slime. At least not right now, and especially not with our current levels of health. Yeah, we're pretty low on health and mana and whatnot. And apparently, what do you mean that's not possible? Oh, Rab's dead, that's why. Uh, who has a Eggdrasil Leaf? You. Let's go ahead and use on... There we go. Oh, I guess, I guess uh, Serena's just straight up out of uh, MP for, you know, healing everybody. So, here we go. I guess we're all out of MP for healing. Wow. 
we're kind of freaking sad right now. Okay, so if you want to come back here eventually and find some um, some liquid metal slimes, great. I apparently didn't have any luck with it today, so whatever. We'll be able to get liquid metal slimes from pet powers, so I'm not terribly worried about it. I am a little mad, but oh well, we'll survive. Barely, I think. Let's see. And because none of these places have resting sites, you can't warp back to them. You have to sail back to them. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, but what are you going to do? Uh, did we already go to that other island right there down in the bottom? I don't think we did. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and zoom back to... Eh, yeah, Coastal Villar is fine. Let's rest up here. Uh, apparently we have stuff we can forge. Or at the very least, we have a level up. I think it's just going to be like one focus, which is, you know, basically nothing. Yeah, I don't think we had anything extra. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, let's see, my goal involves... If you have them... No, you don't actually have any. <coughs> Excuse me. I was going to find some... Uh... <coughs> Go away. I was going to find some holy waters, but they don't actually have any. I know they probably sell something like downtown cobblestone, so we can probably check there. Yeah, downtown. Not you. There is an item shop. Yeah, it's down there. And if you want to get ripped off, you can talk to that one lady and buy it for like a hundred gold or some bullshit. Holy water. Yeah, I'm just going to buy a bunch of you because that'd be fantastic. Item bag. There we go. And let's buy some more. Buy some more. Damn it, Rab. Okay. I'll have to put those back later. Luckily, holy water is dirt cheap, so it's good enough for me. Alright, cool. Now let's go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, grab. Apparently, if we press, yeah, triangle here, all non essential items, go back into the bag. Great. That makes my life easier. Let's go ahead and zoom. Let's see. Oh, I thought we had like a. Uh... Where is it? I guess the closest thing to like the actual sea is the strand. We have to. You know, walk out of there. It's not that far, but that works. Sorry, Michelle. Not trying to have any rhyme time today. Yeah, I don't think we went to this island down here. I don't think there's a whole lot going on down here, but we can check it out real fast. And then it's slightly, it's, I don't know about, it might, it might be slightly closer. Then the other, the other path to where we gotta go, spin chillas. Okay, that's a pretty cool name. I like it. Pretty cool. All right, and multi thrust on two targets. There you go. Every once in a while, the multi-thrust will, like, do three hits on one target and one hit on another target. So one one will get way more damage. But for the most part, it's reasonably, ev reasonably even. But if it's, like, four enemies or something like that, any multi-thrust, there might be a chance of it hitting two enemies twice each and then not, not even looking at the other two. 
Alright, so we got one extra enemy around here. I think I know who it is, too. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, I know, I know, I know who the extra enemy around here is. But more trolls if we don't feel like going under Octagonia to fight trolls. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, hammerheads, which we don't care about. How's the sparkly spots? A couple... Okay. Yeah, I don't think these guys actually care about uh, fighting us at the moment. Ooh, Idrisil Leaf. Um... Sparkly spot, that's not bad at all. Silver ore, it's kind of generic. I think that's I think that Idrisil Leaf might have uh, quite a decent respawn timer though, so it's not gonna be showing up uh, constantly, that's for sure. So yeah, some respawn point or some sparkly points take like ten or fifteen minutes to show up. Some take like thirty minutes. Uh, there's one that I know for sure takes like an hour to respawn. But that's a really good item from what I remember it being. So you're not going to see... Even if you wanted that one, it'd be... A lot of waiting around for it. Crafting Comforting Clothing. Robes of Serenity, which we already have, right? Yep, we already have it. And that's just uh, Magical Might and Mending, which... Eh, they're okay robes, but they're nothing... Nothing fantastic. And there's another locked door around here. Which, frankly, we're not going to be able to open anytime soon. So, okay, maybe the maybe the uh, Serenity Robe will give good pearls for the crafting. And yeah, there's our other enemy right there, the Cyclops right there. Gold ore, neat. 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 Cyclops. These guys are kind of like trolls and they're big and strong and not terribly fast. So they're not super dangerous for the most part. Just sap them. Cutting edge them. Multi-thrust. Do your worst. And uh, yeah, they won't survive for too long. Yeah, not when you're doing that much damage per turn. They're not gonna... They're not gonna make it out... They're not gonna make it out alive for... Much longer, that's for sure. Heck, we might even be able to whack him. Ooh, look at that. I think I've used whack three times on screen, and I think it's hit all three times. I might have used it, like, once before, and it might not have hit, but in the last, like, two or three episodes, I've used it three times, and it has managed to hit each time, so that's pretty freaking not whack, that's for sure. And yeah, look, they got crop circles here, I guess. I don't know why. But they do, so pretty neat looking island. It's a bit, uh, bit bland, and frankly, there doesn't look like there's anything to drink for anybody because these little puddles of like dirt water are not looking good. So I don't know what these guys are surviving on, water-wise or food-wise for that matter, unless they're eating the the bush, the bushes. Yeah, that's not even water. That's just like mud. So maybe it rains out here a lot. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's seawater if they care about that, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say they'd rather not. I guess there... No, that's still seawater, isn't it? Yeah. That's still seawater. Okay, there we go. Neat little island. Got some recipes for something we don't really care about, but hey, it's there. I don't think we ever get that good of a look at the Salty Stallion, but that's a pretty freaking big ship. I think it looks smaller in, like, cutscenes and stuff, but that's a damn big ship. Wow. I wonder how he got the money for that. I mean, I, don't, I didn't think Circus Performers made that much money, but uh, apparently he did a pretty good job. Okay. Let's just go ahead and just keep on heading this way because we got to get to that little pink dot. And yes, there's no easy way to. Well, maybe not easy, but there's no like quick way to get to it. And here we go.
All right. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, it looks it looks way smaller here. That's for sure than it does, you know, when we saw it uh, outside of the outside of the uh, cutscene there. You know, there's the other Apparently we couldn't just like get a running start and jump over that. Which makes sense. Actually, I think that is the Mangle Grove, right? Or not the Mangle Grove. Um, yeah, that's the uh, that's uh, the area right before Gondolia. So whatever the fuck that place was called. Huh. Neat. It looks a lot m less swampy out here, though. Yeah, they don't do a good job of rendering the swamp. That's for sure. Or not the swamp. The uh, I guess it kind of is a swamp, but it's a nice swamp. Hey, there's some boats out here. How you guys doing? Uh, let's go ahead and pop another... Holy water. There we go. Hey, guys, how you guys, how you boat guys doing? Aloha, Travelers, don't stop here. These waters are dangerous. Sail on, sail on. Okay, apparently it's just too dangerous to stop here, so we're not going to stop here, because stopping there is dangerous. Okay, fair enough. Wonder what's going on over here. Well, there's a town, which is nice, and just a little island. Though I don't think we ever get to that island. I don't think there's anything on it, so there's no point worrying about it. But let's disembark in Honolulu. Where apparently Michelle's chubby boyfriend is. Or chunky, at least. Hanging around here somewhere. Why he hasn't gone back to that delicious mermaid booty? I don't know. Again, maybe he just really doesn't like the rhymes. I have no idea. We have weeds. Neat. Seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> Ooh, pals! Ooh, pearls. Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. <gasps> Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's no campfire here. I was going to make that, um... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, item real fast that we just picked up the recipe for. Do we have to? No, but I want to see how many pearls we get for it. And I think my stance on the forge here is going to be... I won't use it in, like, dungeons or anything to make a fresh recipe and give myself an advantage that you would otherwise have to go out of the dungeon for. But if I'm just, like, in a town or something, there's no point warping to a campfire if I can just, you know, make it while I'm here. So I think that seems like a fair compromise between the people that don't have the... Yeah, the people that don't have the uh, deluxe version of the game, I guess. Oh, wow. Uh, regular bash. Regular bash. Let's see. Way too much. Okay. Quite too much, actually. Uh, so what about you? Oh. There we go. Okay, and then... Hmm. Let's go lightning bash here and there. Pretty well. Okay. So, sure, why not? There we go. I just wanted to make it just for shits and giggles. 
I want to see how many pearls we get out of it. Also, I probably should have checked the... the items to make it, but I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Fairy Fluff, Fresh Eye, Purple Water, or Purple Eye, Fresh Water. That's not too bad, actually. We're gonna be able to be we're gonna be able to buy the eyes reasonably soon, so it's not that it's not that bad. I think the eyes are expensive though. I think they're like a thousand a pop. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, let's go ahead and explore Lunalulu, which is probably gonna take us a while. And I liked how <laughs> I loved how Savando's like the prettiest pearls in all the world, and Serena and Veronica, ooh pearls. Even though I don't think anyone has ever I don't think either one of us ever said anything about liking pearls in the first place, but they're girls. I was really hoping Jade would like join in or you know just like sigh at him or something, but okay. And apparently this is the Hawaiian village. E Komomai. Welcome, friend. I will do my best to enjoy my stay, thank you. Uh, remember this guy for a little bit later, because he's gonna have some stuff for us we can buy. Pearls, yeah, he doesn't have pearls right now because a nasty tentacular has been stirring up trouble in the seas south of here. But eventually, she'll be able to sell pearls. Uh, not perfectionist pearls, which would be fantastic, but no. Uh, eventually, she will sell... Uh, where are they? Um, yeah, she'll sell stuff like the pink pearl and the pitch pearl. And I think a couple other pearls, too. Which will make any pearl-based recipes rather easy to deal with. Oh, that leaf really went, huh? Looking for Kai? I don't know that boy. I didn't know that boy had any friends. You should go see his ma. You usually find her up at church during the day. As soon as the sun sets, she runs on home and refuses to come out till it's light again. Kind of a weird family. Hey, weird is my middle name. Oh, there's a couple sparkly spots, including one down here. Oh, I have to walk down. Fair enough. My kitty cat. A cat's got some dark whiskers. Some thick, dark whiskers. Uh, let's see. How you doing, my dude? I only got married last month, and now my honey has gone away to fight the tentacular. I'm praying he makes it back in one piece. Well, I'm sure he's a big, manly fisherman that hopefully knows how to swim, unlike the Kai guy, but, you know. Crazy woman who lives in our village. She's totally pupil. Every morning she goes up to the top of the cliff and fires a cannon. It's like... Kenny Kanono, boom, the day has begun. I don't know why she does it. I guess she have, must have something against sleepyheads. Uh, you can actually go fire the cannon yourself. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything, it just makes a whole bunch of noise. And I don't think it has like a recharge period, you can just spam it. And nobody gets, nobody actually says anything or gets annoyed about it. But you can tell they're thinking like, this little bastard, I'm trying to sleep. Leave me alone. Some days ago, an enormous tentacular appeared in the sea nearby. We haven't been able to catch any fish or gather any pearls since. All the able-bodied men have sailed out to drive the monster from our waters and protect our livelihoods. As Kahuna of this village, I wish I could have sailed with them, but I'm too old and frail. I've only got in the way. Well, you probably did all your work when you were younger. I like how the vases have barnacles on them. That's a nice touch. Yeah, but you were probably a nice, strong uh, chief guy back in the day, so you probably fought off a smaller tentacular back in the day and left 3,000 gold coins underneath the bridge for some random traveler to steal. Thanks. Much obliged. Ripple drops. Neat. Yeah, there's a whole lot of kitty cats around here. And this kid's playing in the sand. Scary monsters called mermaids. They sing pretty songs, put people to sleep, and they eat them all up. You know, except for the rhyming, Michelle could eat me up all day. Let's go. I mean, she's not quite as good as Jade, but she's pretty close, actually. Pretty close. Right, let's see. Let's explore the rest of the outside of the town, and then we'll right, then we'll walk back to the entrance and explore the insides. Because for now, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while to explore the town. Cause this is a pretty decent sized town here. So they, they all just stay here and don't leave town, huh? Fair enough. Why? What, what's wrong with the guy sailing with the... Yeah, they really have it out for some people in these games. So apparently Kai's just not trustworthy or something. Or the lady thinks he's not. I don't know. Kai and me, we don't really get along. 
He's always got to try and be so serious. Guy needs to loosen up. Okay, so maybe that's why people don't like him because he's uh, too, too uh, a stickler for rules. Here we go. Mini metal, neat. How are mini metals looking? We got four. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And apparently, no one's manning this particular little uh, gazebo. I guess if you want to call it that. I'm not entirely sure if that's actually a gazebo, but it's close enough. Damn it, close enough. Yeah, uh, let's see. How you doing, Gramps? Came all the way to this far-flung backwater to buy some of their famous pearls, but it seems a certain giant squid has other ideas. Making a nuisance of itself off the coast and stopping the fishermen doing their job. Now they're out of stock. You come looking for pearls, too? I'm afraid it looks like all we can do is pray locals finish off the horrible thing and they get back to their work. Speaking of praying, there's a little church behind the village elder's house at the top of the stairs if you ever need one. That's a smooth segue, my dude. Smooth segue. It's almost as smooth as uh, the segues that Linus Tech Tips does. Keyword there being almost. Okay, we'll come back to we'll come back to there later. For now, let's explore the rest of the insides of the, vill the village and then go back there. Because yeah, we got a whole bunch of other places to explore. Actually, I think this might be close to where we need to go right here. I'm trying to remember. Wow, this has a really old, this house has a really open format, which is really cool. But if it ever gets windy, uh, it's gonna be cold. And considering you live next to the ocean, I'm assuming it's gonna get cold every once in a while. Like rather frequently, actually, if I had to guess. Because isn't that what uh, living next to the ocean does? It gets cold during nighttime because you, know, you got the breeze and water cools off real fast and whatnot. I don't know. And more as of a treasure hunter, volume two. Pseudonym, treasure hunter extraordinaire. I came to this village after catching wind of a rumor that a shoot uh, schooner carrying the rainbow was wrecked somewhere in Erdria's southern seas. In exchange for a couple of my best maps and charts, I listed the aid of the finest fishermen here. We dredged near enough the whole blessed ocean, but we all we came back with is a few tasty scallops for tea. I've been spending a quiet evening in the bar enjoying our tasty catch, the village's local brew, in the company of the landlord's beautiful daughter. He tells me that my friend the fisherman is engaged to be married. He doesn't seem too keen on the arrangement, though. I shouldn't be surprised if he turned out to have his eye on someone else. But it's late now and growing dark. I may not have found the rainbow, but I've had a lovely day and met some even lovelier people. Ah, the traveler's life suits me down to the ground. Okay, so whoever pseudonym is is having a pretty nice time over here in uh, Honolulu. Apparently there's some hot fisher chicks, so... I mean, good for him. Good for him. The armor shop over here. Let's see, you got anything outside? No? Hey, recipe book. Nice. Pink pearl rings, rosaries, so stuff that requires pearls. Nice. Alright, what do you got? You got a light shield, a steel shield. How much you got? Uh, block chance, just block chance. Huh. For some reason, I never paid attention to the fact that some of the shields are great shields, and some are just regular shields. I just never actually noticed that. And Soul's the only person that uses these great shields, and since I'm not using them, nobody's using them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we could buy an iron mask, and that'd be pretty good upgrade for soul but I'm just gonna tell you right now the um, the stuff that we're gonna be getting from that dunder armor set much better don't even worry about it so once we get the platinum stuff at least which isn't gonna be too far away do you have a book for me to buy stuff off of no but you have a treasure chest back here Okay. Cottery swords. That's like a single... That's like a one-handed sword that's like fire-based, I think. It's right frickin' there. Yeah. So, 4,400. Uh, 50 attack. Not bad. Okay, so it's not fire-based, but it uh, casts... It casts uh, Frizzle in battle, I, I guess. Oh, there we go. Frizzle, Sizzle, whichever one is the group. It looks pretty cool with the... The color scheme and the little edges on the tip carbon steel claymore which would be a pretty good upgrade if you didn't have the sword that you already have eagle dagger 
Uh, this can actually be stolen from uh, somebody. I don't remember who. It can be stolen from somebody, but it's a nice knife upgrade for Eric if you need it. So it's not bad. Sword and Steel, Wyvern and Wand, which has more power, and you can steal more stuff. But frankly, I think we're good for what we got for her. Lightning Staff, which is a little better than what we got. Ooh, you can actually use Zap with it and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know if it's Zap or Cuss Zap, but really, that's not bad for... I think I'm going to buy it just to have access to the... Um, yeah, you might want to try using it as an item during battle. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy it just to have access to the Kasap spell. And I'm going to put it in... Veronica's bag there, just in case she wants it. I mean, we could learn Zap on the Luminary Tree, but that would require us to get points other places. So I'm not terribly worried about it. 65, 79, uh, let's see. So, yeah, that actually, this would also probably be a pretty good upgrade. Um, let me see. I don't remember if we can make it. Let me see. No, we can't make. Well, we can't make it. But I just realized something. I'm gonna go back to the casino at some point. Oh, here's that beastly bullet that we could have made in the in the um, in the uh, forge where we needed the magic beast horn for. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the uh, casino at some point and spend some time trying to get another jackpot. And once I do. They have a lightning spear there that I forgot about that costs a pretty fair amount, but it also has really good attack power, and it does lightning damage as an attack, so I'm not going to buy any more spears for Jade, because eventually I'm going to get that one from the casino, so there we go. Neat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Neat. I know I say that a lot, but it's cool. It's neat. It's awesome. I wonder if you guys, if you guys have anything cool and neat and awesome in your guys' place with the inn. Alright, for some reason I was thinking you were an item shop. I'm not sure why. I was uh, bamboozled by stuff. I'm still lucky to have such good kids. Even when their mom is sick, I can rely on them to keep the business going. Don't know what I did to deserve them. I'm so thankful I could cry. Well, if you're going to cry, do it after I leave, please. I'm not into emotional breakdowns, but I am into stealing your meager earnings for the business. All right, you're the bed, you're the bank. Well, you want to be a banker when you grow up. That's a good profession. You make a lot of money. And you got the nerd glasses for it and everything. Uh, let's see. I'm at 30000 Let's deposit an even 10. There you go. Good shit. All right, we're at 40000 Yeah, I didn't use the bank at all on my first playthrough of the game. And frankly, you don't need to use it, but... It's there, you might as well. If you get wiped out like I almost did on Slime Island, <laughs> yeah, you would. I would have lost a fair chunk there. So, yeah. Oh, you don't have anything for me to steal in here. Well, hopefully you have something for me to buy. 50 years, wow, you've been doing this a long time, my dude. Strong medicine, antidotes, holy water, thinking sense. Okay, this is stuff for... Um, item creation, so we might as well buy a couple. We have the money, obviously, so yeah, I might as well buy a little bit of it there. Neat. Okay, so nothing in there. Already checked over there. Alright, what's going on in this house? Yeah, this little fishing village is rather large. And then we got a pretty decent chunk of stuff to. Well, maybe not that long, but yeah, we still got a, we still got a little ways of stuff to do. Once we actually find the Kai dude and do all that stuff. Alright, we've already been over there. By the way, those aerofoil oils, or earrings, uh, those reduce damage by wind. Or they reduce wind damage, I think. Let me see here. Yeah, wind damage. And yeah, up to 25%, so not too shabby. Wind, wind damage isn't usually that big of a deal, so it's not really terribly worth it, but it's there. Alright. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, check out this little path. I don't think there's a lot on this path. Let's see. There's that sparkly spot at the end, but for the most part, this path doesn't really have a whole lot going on it. I think this is the path you go on if you want to ring the cannon, though. Like, if you want to just sit there and 
blast the cannon and irritate the balls out of the residents of the poor little town here. Great! And if you want to come back with the magic key when we get it eventually, great! But we have to get the magic key first, so yeah. Spoilers, we're beginning a magic key to open those doors at some point in our life. Actually, reasonably soon. Uh, I'm probably going to get it a little later than some people, because I'm going to make my life a little easier in some respects. But yeah, you can get it re You can get it pretty much uh, within an hour or two after this town if you really wanted to. Again, I'm going to wait, but uh, yeah. Not that I love more than the sound of the cannon fire. As far as I'm concerned, every day should start, with an start and end with a bang. My late husband, rest his soul, made all the cannons you'll see dotted around the village. And he made them just for me. They're louder than anything. Fire this one again when the sun sinks beneath the horizon, so keep your ears open. <laughs> yeah, if you just want to sit up here and blast the cannon away forever, go for it. There's really no reason for it. Uh, oh, there you are. Yeah, there's really no reason for it, but it's there if you want to. I think it's sands, which I just spent 1,500 gold on, but whatever. I got one there, three from the shop, so frankly... I think I'm coming out ahead, and that should be all the sparkly spots, right? Yeah, there. The wave reed, wave weed is back, but I'm not worried about it. All right, so let's go and do the rest of the town here. Yeah, this really is a nice little fishing village. I mean, I would probably get tired of eating fish all day, but other than that, it's Pretty frickin' nice for the most part. And they don't like all the hot mermaid booty, so I'll take care of that part for them if they don't mind. Granted, they might not like me for associating with the hot mermaids because, you know, they're they're finophobes or something like that. I don't frickin' know. Hello, treasure chest that's in the corner and kinda dark and has a pearl in it. Pink pearl. I feel like that could be a euphemism for something, but uh, assume, uh, uh, as we all know, this is what we call a family-friendly channel, so it's not. Family-friendly enough. Let's just leave it at that. Alright, so... Where does this go? This goes to like a little graveyard or something, right? No. Wait, did I already go over there? Did I just, like, skip this house right here? Yeah, this might be, like, that, um... The cannon chick's house. Huh. And apparently I just missed it somehow. Fair enough. Yeah, this has to be the cannon chick's house because there's a thousand cannons out in the yard. Okay. There's a book. There's a couple books. It Davi, legend. <clears throat> okay, this ought to be good. Let me get something to drink real fast. <sighs> Davi, legend. Despite his humble beginnings as a farmer's son, our hero's winning personality, superior physical strength, enabled him to quickly climb the ranks of the Zvardrustian Royal Navy. Oh, so he was a, he was part of Zvardrust. Neat. When his, when his beloved King Feli became a pink-masked privateer, striking fear into the hearts of the vilest scum of the seas, and expressing his grief in an incident that soon became infamous the world over. With the help of a mysterious traveling entertainer friend, he somehow managed to paint the mast of every ship in the Inland Sea, frigates, freighters, clippers, and caravels, a shocking shade of pink. That's a pretty frickin' gnarly move right there. Even to this day, that bold and brilliant gesture is burnt into the memories of seafarers everywhere, and the name Dave into the hearts and minds of adverbs everywhere. So he, he got mad at something and just fucking painted everything he could pink. That's pretty fucking cool. And no wonder why he wears that awesome little pink mask. The Deadly Denizens of the Deep Four Deadly Denizens, mermaids, are easily recognized. Their upper halves take the form of human women, lower halves of those of fish. Voices are prodigiously beautiful, and many a man has been sent peacefully to sleep by their dulcet tones, only to be dragged down through the inky depths to have his soul devoured. Do you ever spy a beautiful woman in the water while at sea? Do not call out to her, no matter how tempting you may be. For she is almost certainly a mermaid and will want nothing more than to sing you sweetly to sleep, a sleep from which you will never awaken. 
Oh, I thought they were going to tell me about a whole bunch of them. Because it said four denizens of the sea or whatever. I thought they were going to uh, mention all four of them. I wonder if there's more books around here that mention those, but... Uh, eh, probably not. Yeah, I guess I just... I guess I just missed that little entrance right there. Yeah, hey, whatever. Yeah, because I was thinking they were going to tell us about the other three monsters of the deep, but I guess they really have it out for mermaids here. I mean, I know there's a monster called Merman, but that's like an actual fish dude instead of like a, a male mermaid, I think. So I don't know what's... I don't know what their problem is. Listen. Okay, nothing in that house. If you're gonna have a house, at least have something for me to steal, guys. Come on, man. Hey, we're we already in here. There wasn't a whole lot in there either. Attention! Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear, I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiancée aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her! The kahuna was furious. 
He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lonolulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Whoa! The mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! <laughs> Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, Maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. I wonder if that's actually a tale about, you know, Michelle and Kai, because, I mean, it was a pink-tailed mermaid with pink hair, and I wonder, I wonder how many of those are out there. But that would imply that she, uh, he met the mermaid, or she met him a while ago. Urgy Place is such fun, the time just flies by. I wonder what I should do next. Oh, never mind, I'll tell you the, uh, tick, Tickle Tuckle Talk, if it isn't Luminary himself. How long were you standing? Actually, never mind. I'll tell you my password if you promise not to tell the marrow slacking off. Cool. Chateau Felix to be the altar of the cursed king. Yeah, I think these are like past um, Dragon Quest games. Neat. Okay. Like if we get one that's like uh, wait a second. I said altar of the cursed king. Oh no. Um. What what's what is number eight called? It's like, uh, yeah, Journey of the Cursed King, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so that yeah, I'm pretty sure that is number eight. Then that's pretty cool. Then neat. Okay, so we got uh, like one more place in Honolulu here to explore. So let's do that real fast. Let's see. They go into the Tentacular. Hey, with the mermaid that I saw, she could steal my soul. Or something else. I will talk to you momentarily, but I want to see what's out here. It's locked. Okay. So it looks like we have fully explored the uh, town here. Uh, next episode, we'll go ahead and go fight the mermaid. Let me see something here. If I try to zoom, well, let me or no? Because if I try to zoom over to, let's say, Porto Valor. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is my last episode of the night. So in between episodes, what I'll have done is I'll have gotten some good luck at the casino, hopefully. And I'll have that Lightning Lance for Jade and probably a bunch more Yggdrasil Leafs. And the next episode will go... Um, I'll, do that in, I'll, I'll do that in between episodes, like I said. Because, like I said, my last episode of the night. And the next episode will go ahead and fight off the attacker that everyone's fighting or talking about. And go the... Uh, Reunite Kai and Michelle. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.